Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. So this is for the week of July 6th through the 12th, and this is going to be for you and the other person. So keep in mind, not every reading is for you. The timing is still fluid. This is just what I'm picking up on for the week ahead, perhaps, okay? I want you to think about a person in particular, okay? So I want you to think about this person, and we're going to try to pick up on what they're feeling. That doesn't have to be a lover. It could be anybody in your circle. Okay, you're thinking about somebody, you and the other person. But I have found with these readings that there could be a person that is overriding your energy, okay? So that, you know, that person might be the one that comes up. You'll know when you hear the reading. So the first card right here is going to be the connection or the resolution or the overall energy. And then you over here and the other person over here, okay? What do we have for Cancer? July 6th through the 12th. For them and the other person. Strength. Strength. So this is a card of courage and fearless. It's a fearless energy. You have to have courage. You have to be brave. Uh, this is a card of perseverance as well. So the connection is strong. Okay, this is a connection. It's strong. So you have a strong connection with somebody. You need you need to you need to uh, master your emotions, right? And have no fear. Have no fear. So if fear is in the way. Let go of the fear because your connection is strong. Now this is you on this side. Mm, and now what about them? The world. The Empress. You're dealing with an Empress Cancer. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. So. What do we got for Cancer? So we have a strong connection here. I feel as though you are, are developing feelings or you're starting, you're really feeling it. You're, you're very intuitive. Uh, opening your heart, perhaps. Uh, the cover is on this cup, though. So this tells me that you need to open your heart. You need to really, really open your heart. Let the love out. Let the love out. So that the cover is on. Take the cover off. To open yourself up to this person. I feel like you're having feelings for whoever this person is, but you're not really opening up to them. You may be feeling exhausted. Maybe you're tired. Um, now this is pretending to be pretending something, the eight of cups reverse. It's pretending to be happy or superficial. This is a lo lack of self-esteem and lack of self-worth. So you may not know, you may be feeling like you're not good enough for this person. Okay. This is your energy over here. All right. So this is like. Uh, you've been in an emotionally disappointing situation in the past that really hurt you. And I think you're scared to open up. You're scared to open up to this person. Whoever you're dealing with is unconditional love with the Empress and the Eight of Cup, Ace of Cups. Okay, this is unconditional love. This is somebody that is very loving, very generous, very abundant. Uh, will take very, very, very good care of you. Okay, this is a lover. Okay, this is somebody that is emotionally available and has a lot of love to offer. This is very positive over here. These three cards, we have the world, the empress, and the ace of cups upright. Okay, this is a new beginning. This is an opportunity for you to go down a new road with somebody. Okay, this person has left the past behind. They're ready. They're ready to start a journey. They're ready to fall in love. 
they've already experienced a lot of pain. They've already delivered this pain. The person that you are dealing with may be a healer, okay? This person may be a healer. This person is a caregiver, okay? Um, very, very, very abundant in every way. This, is, this, this person um, is definitely uh, looking for love. Okay, and and has a lot of options as well. So whoever you are, are are thinking about has a lot of options. Okay, so my my advice for you is to shit or get off the pot here. Stop wasting your time thinking about it. Stop thinking. And I can see that you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Thinking, 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 thinking about opening your heart. I'm telling you what, if you don't open your heart to this person, somebody else is going to. Okay, this is a major new beginning. Whoever you are dealing with has already uh, completed a chapter with their past. They are absolutely ready to fall in love. This person is looking for love. Um, the Empress is a Taurus or a Libra. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is somebody who um, has a lot of life experience. Okay, uh, takes very good care of anybody, puts her, puts her person on a pedestal okay this person is is has a feminine nature okay and acts in a very loving way so whoever it is that you are thinking about i think that you need to find your strength to open up to this person because they can they can show you a whole new world they really really can um i feel like you you really need to give this person a chance i see that you're you're, you're scared you are these cards just fell out King of Swords and the Prince of Wands. Now this is the Knight of Wands. That is really like, act now, think later. This is shit or get off the pot. Okay? You need to shit or get off the pot. You need to make a decision. Okay, the King of Wands, or the King of Swords is very decisive. Okay? The King of Swords knows what he wants and he goes for it. Okay, this, this is, you know, you've thought about it. Now you need to take action. And that means you need to take action right now, right now. So whoever it is that you're thinking about has a lot of options. So, uh, it's time to make your move. Okay. It is definitely time to make your move. I think there's a there's some sort of a there's some sort of uh, uh, sexual attraction here as well. Whoever you're dealing with is very sensual. Very, this is a very sexual sensual energy. Okay, um, they are definitely uh, pulling on your heartstrings. Put it that way. And I feel like you're wanting to withdraw a little bit. You're a little bit withdrawn. You're feeling a little cold. You're feeling a. You're, you're, you see the arms are crossed. You're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself. You need to find your strength to open up, okay? Stop protecting yourself. Stop guarding yourself. Act. Take action right now, okay? This is a passionate connection that is very, very strong, and your heart feels it. Stop stop denying, okay? I think that you've... This is something you prayed for. You prayed for this connection. Here it is. Here it is. Um... This is this is love. I mean, this person has feelings for you, too. It's like they're trying to get you to open up. They're trying to get you to open up. Um, but this person also, the, the empress, uh, knows their value. This person knows their value. They don't, they're not going to beg you for attention. This person will wait for you or wait for the one that is going to give attention. The empress is, is, is the goddess, okay, the queen of all queens, it's, and knows that. So Cancer, I feel as though um, she's looking away. This person is waiting for you to take action. This is a very strong connection. I do feel like whoever you are dealing with is interested in traveling. They may be they may be wanting to move or something because it's just travel or a change of residence. Maybe that's what's got you thinking. You're definitely doing a lot of thinking and, and closing yourself off. 
It's time. Now, this is about communication. You, you need to communicate. I think that you are feel you're detaching a little bit. You're feeling detached, like you need to detach. You're trying to use your head instead of your heart. Open your heart. I think that it, this is it's challenging. It's challenging. Perhaps this person has some sort of power over you or some sort of control over you, and you're scared of it. You need to let go of that fear and and let this uh, grow. Okay, because this 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 person that you that is over here can bring you growth. This person will nurture you and put you on a pedestal. We have the we have the beginning of a new life. Okay, the world card is a new life. It's it's a, it is. It's a new era. If this this person will help you to heal from whatever pain you had in the past. They'll help you to let go of the past. They'll make you feel whole. So if you are if you are single, you're over here. You're closing yourself off. You're detached. You were probably in an abusive situation in the past that has brought about this sort of fear. Okay? You're probably pretending that you're happy. You're pretending that you're all set. You know, you're, you're not wanting to get disappointed again. You're doing a lot of thinking. You're closing yourself off while this person over here is waiting. They're waiting for you. Because this, is, this person isn't going to make a move. Absolutely not. Seven of Swords. You better you better act now. This is act now. Think later before this person gets away. You this person could get taken away. This person could get uh, snatched up by somebody else. You know what I mean? Don't be wasting your time. I feel like you need to be logical here. If you want to be ahead of the rest, you need to take action right now because this person that you are dealing with has a lot of options. Three of Cups reversed. Now this is parting ways. There could be, there could be, you know, this person may end up, you may end up losing this person to another, to a third party. Because this person, whoever this person is that you are thinking about, is ready for a love, ready for a relationship. And they're not going to wait around. They're not going to wait around for you to think about it and think about it and think about it and think about it and think about it. Take action right now. Find your courage. Communicate. Communication is key. And, and, and being withdrawn and closed off is going to cause somebody to choose another option. You'll lose. The Emperor reversed. So, the Emperor reversed is wanting to be in control. Clinging to control. feeling entitled. If you're feeling like you're entitled, then you're going to lose. The emperor in reverse is, is doesn't have doesn't have a lot of courage. Doesn't doesn't have a lot of strength, okay? This is this is somebody that is not interested in putting in any type of effort. Doesn't have a lot of experience. The emperor in reverse is is inexperienced. Well, you only learn experience by taking risks. You were probably in a situation where you were uh, deserted, right? You were deserted in your time of need, which has made you closed off. You were dealing with somebody who only thought about themselves. Don't let that person in the past cause you to lose an opportunity for love because you're scared. I feel as though you need to definitely act now. 
at now, think later. This is a this is a very strong, passionate connection that could really grow into uh, the rest of your life. I mean, with the world card, it could. This could be something long term that could last for the rest of your life. I feel like uh, this person is probably, you know, they've been trying to get you to open up. They've been expressing themselves and you've just been detached. Anyway, my advice this week is you're dealing with somebody that has a lot of options. They're looking for love. They're, re they're ready for their new life. Don't let this one slip away because you're scared. Communicate. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. That's what I got. Good luck.